Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to check if a string is a number in C, C++. So let's jump right into Visual Studio. Here I am in Visual Studio. Let's create a new project. Click on File, New Project. Make sure you have Visual C++ 132 selected. And then let's create a console application. I'm going to call it is number. Click OK and then click finish here. OK, so how do we check if a string is a number or not? Valid numbers are like 123, 123.456, but they could be integers or floating point numbers. So how do we implement a function that can take in a string and then checks if that string contains only a number in it? Let's assume we have an array of values like this. We want to call a function and check each one of these so that we can determine which of these are actually valid numbers and which are not valid numbers. So we're going to create our loop here. So this will give me how many elements in the array. Now loop through the array and then say f is number percentages equals another percentages. So we're going to say is number p test of i. If that's a number, we need to pass it the p test of i each element in the array and then check is number of that. If that returns true, we're gonna say yes. Otherwise we say no. Basically we wanna implement this is number function. So it should return a Boolean and takes in a const char pointer p string. First thing we wanna do is check if it's a null string or an empty string. In that case we return false. Next, we loop through the string while contents of PSTR, we're going to say char c equals contents of PSTR, then PSTR plus plus. And then eventually here we will return true if it's a valid number. So now let's do a switch statement here. Let's switch c. Let's handle the special characters here. If it's a dot, then we need to handle this. Also, we need to handle the minus sign and we also need to handle plus sign. So these are special cases and then we can say default behavior is going to be like this. If C is less than zero or C is greater than nine, then we say return false. If any number falls outside this range below zero or above nine, then it's a character that's not supposed to be part of the number. That's why we return false. Okay, let's handle these separately. In the case of dot, I only want to have one dot. If there's more than one dot, I'm going to return false. So if plus plus dot count is greater than one, return false. We need to add a break. So now I need to define this integer dot count equals zero. Same thing is going to be applied to plus and minus plus count equals zero and then minus count equals zero. So I'm going to do the same code here. If plus plus the minus count greater than one return false. That means we have more than one minus sign. And then we don't want to fall through. So break. And I'm going to copy the same thing here to the plus sign and just make this plus count. If the plus count is greater than one return false, then break. Otherwise, you're allowed to have one dot, one minus, one plus. OK, so this loops through the whole string. At the end, if none of these conditions are met, then we return true. And that's how we know it's a valid number. I've added a few tests also to cover the double minus, plus, plus and at the beginning, at the end. So I've added a few more cases in here, multiple dots, etc. So let's compile and run. Control F5 to compile and run. Yes. Okay, let's look at this. The first one is number 123 is yes, that's a number. The second one, 123.456, yes, it's a number. The third one, minus 854, is also a number. 12 ABC is not a number because of the ABC. And then hello there is not a number, that's correct. The minus minus 945 is not a number because of the double minus sign. Plus 145 is okay. 145 inside two plus signs is not okay. Then the next one, minus 945, is valid. I just noticed that also this code actually does not care if the plus is at the beginning or at the end or if the minus is at the beginning or at the end. We can also add another check to see if the plus or minus were at the beginning of the string or at the end of the string. 
So that's also another thing to check for. And then multiple dots are not valid. Same thing we can say about the dot. So that's like extra checking that you can add yourselves, but this is just a good start for how to check for a number is valid or not valid. So that's it for this uh, small exercise. Please don't forget to like my video. Also subscribe to my channel, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.